Hi, have you ever wondered how to automatically change the copyright footer year to the current year in WordPress? What an annual frustration, waking up on New Year's Day thinking you've got to update all your websites with the current year. Well, the good news is you don't have to do it. I'm Colin Clapp, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly and easily so you can set and forget. This will work for any theme that has dynamic content built into it, such as uh, Thrive Architect, uh, Divi Theme, theme Builder, uh, Elementor Pro I know uses it. Uh, uh, but I'm also gonna show you another method where you might be able just to use a short code that's built into the theme. I'll show you that in action. There is a third way that uses some short snippet codes. Doesn't always work because it depends on your theme, uh, but I'll let you know about that and then you can move on from there. So let's dive in straight away. We'll go, I'm using uh, the Divi Theme Builder, so we'll show you that how dynamic content works in Divi, but you can put to bed this annual updating of your copyright footer as of now. So here we are in a Divi, uh, Divi uh, enabled footer area. Now, as you can see at the bottom, we've got two copyright areas and they both uh, say the same. So I'm going to just go behind the scenes and show you how they're put together. So this is in the, uh, the editor. The, this is the Divi theme builder and we're in a global editor area. So just go down here, hover over these two. So you'll see the, um, uh, these little gray boxes represent they are text modules. And this one here, if we open it up, what you should see is we've got a little text editor over here and we've manually typed in uh, the, the correct uh, information as of 2020. And it hasn't updated because we haven't manually edited it. If we go to the second one, this one is using dynamic content. So you see, instead of it coming up with a text body, it has come up with this um, current date dynamic content. So we're gonna remove that dynamic content just so you can see how you do it. So here we are in the text editor, but you've got this little box over here, use dynamic content, and that lets you have some options that, uh, that integrate into the dynamic nature of the site. So here, the, de the default, you can see, um, I'm gonna just take that out. You can see the default format is uh, January 28th, uh, 2021 so we don't want to use that so we just need to change the default date style and we just want the year and the way you do that is you simply just put in either Y lowercase where you'll just get 21 uh, the f last two digits or you can put in capital Y and you'll get the whole year okay you're asking what about the copyright information not a problem so all we do now is we just edit the before and after information so uh, I've just pasted in the copyright and then we like to use the 2017 of when we started and we put the hyphen in so now you can see it's um, gone in before the 2021. So we move to after, we'll put in a space and then we can put in the parenting passports and profits.com. Uh, but I'll just leave you like that. You can see how it works. Save those changes. We'll come out of that. We'll just save the global editor. And if we refresh that page, what you should see down the bottom is um, brand new dynamic content. So as I say, you know, when you wake up on New Year's Day, you no, long, no longer have to think about this manual update across however many websites you may have. Okay, we've got another staging site that's using the Divi, uh, a, or sorry, using a Thrive, a Thrive theme. And as you can see down the bottom, this is uh, got uh, 2020 that is a manual insert and I'll show you this is inside the Thrive Themes uh, layout area and you can see down here foot of copyright text where it is uh, the text is displayed as 2020 where it is handwritten in but Thrive Theme lets you insert a little short code and in this case it's still a Y but it goes inside the uh, squiggly parentheses so I'll just put that in and put the Y in, and there we go. And if we save that, and we refresh that page, we should see we have both. 
and this is just a staging site, so I'm not I'm not trying to make this pretty or I'm not too worried about it all staying uh, perfect. I just wanted to show you how it works. So there you go, 20 and 2021, with the one on the right hand side being updated automatically as a result of the using the short code. So I'll just show you uh, one other uh, way you you could do it. Uh, but it doesn't work with the themes I have access to. But depending on your theme, you can sometimes insert uh, code such as the Y or the current year inside square brackets uh, or, or like this or like this. Now, I've experimented with this in the this Stage Insights 404 page. And, and what you'll see is that it doesn't work in that area. So it works in the footer area but it doesn't here so but depending on your theme these code snippets can sometimes work and how you might be able to do that is in the appearance area go to customize go to your footer area i don't have access to that with this theme and so it's a staging site but so you see in this theme the footer uh, option is not there it's just because you do it in the theme options but in some themes you will have a footer option here and that is where you can plug in some of these uh, short codes that you're seeing there okay so hope uh, hope that made sense and now you know how to automatically change a copyright footer year to the current year in wordpress Hopefully you can take benefit, uh, make, the, make the most of that and enjoy your New Year's Day without having to worry about updating your website. Okay, I'm Colin Clapp and I will see you next time. Take care now.